Hey everybody, it's Angela from Reading Angel, and I'm here with my October to be read pile. I'm going to show you the books I plan to read for October. If you haven't watched my video I did a couple days ago, I was telling everyone that I plan to throw my normal TBRs out the window, no review books for all of October, which will be a nice break. I'm going to do all books with a spooky setting, spooky place, spooky characters, spooky creatures, spooky something for October and do what I call boo reviews. So every book I read that I review that is scary, I will do a book review and a giveaway for. So if you have any suggestions besides what I show that I should read, please post them in the comments because um, I want a lot of options because if I'm reading all of one uh, type of genre for a month, I'm going to get kind of bored and I need to be able to pick from lots of different books. So here is what I have on my pile so far. I for sure want to read these first few anyway. Nevermore by Kelly Kriog. I've had this on my shelf for the longest time, and I've heard such amazing things. The second book finally came out. People seem to have been waiting for that book forever. So now that it's out, I really want to read the first one. So I'm going to definitely try to read that one this month. And I heard that the spookiness that is Edgar Allan Poe fits well for this month. Shift by Jerry Smith Ready. I don't know why I haven't continued with this series. I love the first one. And Shades, Ghosts, whatever. Good creature. Tin by Gretchen McNeil. I read Possess last year for Halloween and I loved it. Like, I loved Possess. So I cannot wait to read Tin. Sorry. This is Not a Test by Courtney Summers, which is zombie. First Days by Rihanna and Freighter. And this is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, not with a whisper, but with the rending and tearing of fresh, of flesh, because I can't speak. We all know this by now. But this sounds amazing, and my friend Loretta got me this and a couple of these I'm showing you for my birthday. Yeah. It sounds amazing. I've heard it's amazing, and I cannot wait to start it, and it fits so well for my Halloween theme. And the last one I definitely want to get to pile is Alice in Zombieland, which I just got in yesterday. By Gina Showalter. That cover so pretty. Plus zombies, once again. I have several zombie books, which is definitely why I need more options. I'm afraid I'm going to get burnt out. Then, my options list that I have over here. I'm not sure which of these I'll definitely read or won't read. But, Gone by Michael Grant. And a lot of these I got from suggestions on my last video, so I appreciate everyone who gave me suggestions. The Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan. Enclave by Anne McGuire. Something Strange and Deadly by Suzanne Denard. Rot and Ruin by Jonathan Mayberry. And Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar, Ch Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. Now, all of these books have been sitting on my shelf for the longest time, except for the ones Loretta just bought me and Alice in Zombieland. So it'll be nice to get through books that have been sitting for forever. I also have two ebooks on my pile that I hope to, or that are options for me for this month, which is. The Body Finder by Kimberly Dirting and Pell Demon by Kim Harrison, which is next to last book in this series. I really love um, the Rachel Morgan series, and Ashley at Typing Tierra has been yelling at me to hurry up and get caught up because she wants to read the latest book at the same time I do so we can gush to each other. So I've got to read that one so we can read the latest book together. And that's what is on my Halloween pile. And if you have more options for me, post them in the comments and let me know. And I will try to review and give away as many as I possibly can through October. Alright guys, see you later. Let me know what you plan to read for October. And I hope everybody has a fabulous Halloween. And I'll see you in November. Bye!